What about today's media? What's it like being a reporter? Well, I was there. I was in radio uh, and I was also in television as a reporter. And I can tell you it's a very interesting job. It was, it was fun. And the thing I liked about it is you got to learn about a new topic every day. You're covering all kinds of stories that you know nothing about. Uh, but controversy and change are their fuel. We know that and really it's all, you know, it's, it's profit driven in the end because they all they want the ad dollars so the more people they can get to, to read their newspaper listen to the radio station uh, watch the television newscast the better so you know we all see that the breaking news and the dramatic music at the beginning of a, of a newscast you know a top story it may be uh maybe something that that really is breaking news or maybe that day they kind of have to you know force that a little bit it's that is that really breaking news but they want to capture that audience's attention so what does a good message entail? All right, we have the three C's. The first one is, can you deliver that message to someone who doesn't understand the issue? And again, that someone is the reporter. You want to make sure they report it accurately. So make sure that reporter understands that issue. Uh, someone over here mentioned the sound bite. Can you deliver your message in 10 seconds or less? That's tough. And again, because we have so much knowledge about what we do and we want to share so much, it is tough to take your message and condense it. Now, 10 seconds, you know, you, it could be 15, maybe 20. Years ago, back in the 60s, a sound bite was around 60 seconds. And in broadcast news, that's a luxury. Today, again, if you listen to radio news, television news, pay attention to the quick sound bites they throw in. It could be something as simple as, yeah, I, I heard screams from inside the house and I ran in and all I could do, you know, was shout inside. I couldn't go in. You know, that took about eight seconds. That's a sound bite today in news. You're in charge of the interview. You may go into this a little intimidated and thinking, oh my gosh, you know, what's going to happen here? You are, you are the director of that interview. You can stop and start the interview anytime. You can ask the reporter to repeat questions. All of those things. And a reporter appreciates it. I can tell you that because as a reporter, I want to come away with some great sound bites and a great story. So if you're doing an interview and all of a sudden you start heading down the wrong path or it's a broadcast interview and you stumble over your words, if you stop and say, you know what, I'm going to start that over. That didn't come out quite right. I appreciate that as a reporter because then you say it again and you say it concisely and I can pull that sound bite. It's like, aha, that's the nugget that I'm going to use.